So guys, I brought this today because it's a simple illustration, but it's going to show to you, it's going to show you what God does in our hearts. See guys, no one is perfect. The Bible says it this way, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. What sin is, it's disobedience to God, but also sin is missing the mark. See, God has a standard of perfection, but we have fallen short. And when sin comes, the reason God hates sin is because sin affects the mind, it affects the heart, it affects the people around you. When you sin, you often hurt others too. If you tell a lie, you're hurting someone and you're breaking trust. If you disobey your parents, you're not doing what you're supposed to and you're not being obedient. Sin is a problem. And sin enters our hearts and then we have to deal with sin. It's in our hearts, it's there. And then we walk around with it and we feel guilty and ashamed for what we've done. We feel like we've made mistakes. How many of you have ever made a mistake? It doesn't feel good. We should be sorry for what we've done. But know this today, the precious blood of Jesus has the power to take our sin away. You see that paper in this glass? Watch as the precious blood of Jesus comes. The Bible says if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. That paper is gone. It's gone the way your sins are gone. The Bible says your sins are as far as east is to west. They're thrown into the deepest part of the ocean. They're remembered no more. You're forgiven. When God looks at you, he doesn't see your sin. He sees the precious blood of his son, Jesus Christ. You are forgiven. Your sins are washed in the blood of the lamb. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus.